guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a macbook customization video before i get started with that i want to say thank you guys so much for 1500 subscribers i'm so excited this feels like a huge accomplishment for us and yeah if you're not subscribed yet be sure to go subscribe also make sure you follow me on instagram i've been answering every single one of your dms and comments and everything you guys are so sweet so if you haven't followed me be sure to follow me it's at it's dan marie and we can talk on there and yeah other than that today's video i'm gonna be showing you how i customize my desktop on my laptop and how i customize the little folder icons instead of like those blue ones that it comes with and a few other fun little things they're all super easy so don't worry you don't have to like you know be a like tech wizard because i'm not i just like picked up on some of these things from google searches or other youtube videos that i've seen so yeah if you want to learn how to do some of those things then keep watching i also wanted to mention that i have like i don't know what year macbook air or like model or whatever i'll put that over here but it's an older one i've had it since i was in the 10th grade which was five years ago maybe I think <laughs> so if you have one of the newer ones some of the settings may look a little bit different but essentially it should all be like the same thing it shouldn't be too hard to figure out if it varies a little bit and yeah let's get started okay guys i hope this is a good angle to do this from the first thing i'm going to show you guys is how to change the color of your highlighter and i'll just show you what i mean by that so usually it's blue, but I changed mine to be pink, if you can see that on camera. Um, so this is really simple to do, it takes like three seconds. All you have to do is go to your system preferences, which you can find by clicking the apple sign in the top left corner. And when that comes up, you just go to general. And then there's a whole bunch of different settings that you can change in here. And what I did was just change the highlight color to purple. You can change it to all of these other colors. I personally just like how the purple looks, which I actually think looks more pink than the pink one. That's why I chose purple, because I really like pink, if you can't tell. <laughs> so yeah, that's my first little trick that I figured out. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you guys is probably one of the more interesting things, and that's how I make my background on my desktop. So this one just says, hello June, and it's just this pink color, and I just added these little dots on the bottom. So this is super simple. You guys know that I'm obsessed with the websites and app Canva. You can do this from an iPad or an iPhone or anything. They have these on all the different devices and everything. So you're just going to go to create a design. And if you have the 13 inch MacBook, then the dimensions are 1440 by 900. And then you go to create design and you can honestly play around with this website for like hours they have all different types of templates and everything but i'm just doing something simple so i'm just gonna select the background and then choose the color i want to use these are just my go-to's right here so i have them saved um but you can also go to this little color palette here and choose the color i think that's the color that i have on the background i'm trying to just recreate it for you guys really quick and then you just go to text on the left over here and add in a heading and then type whatever you want in there. So for mine, I just did hello June, and add a little period on the end, made it bigger. And then you can change the font. There are like so many free options for fonts. The scripty looking one that I used is called playlist something, oh, playlist script. <laughs> And yeah, you can just resize it. You can also change the color of the text up here with this little A with the colors under it. And I just change it to white. And then for elements, I uh, elements is where you can add in different like pictures and stuff to it. So I just added in these dotted lines and I kind of wanted the dots a little smaller. So I shrunk it down and then you can just um, reproduce them at that size with this little copy tool up here. As you can see, I now have three of them on the screen. And then I just made them into a line. And once you play around with it and figure out exactly what kind of background you want, you can also like upload your own pictures onto here and do a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm just not gonna include in this video because it would be three hours long. Then you would just download your picture. It downloads as a PNG automatically. And 
once that's done you have it here and you can just save it to your desktop and then well it went behind my post-it note but it would save to your desktop somewhere and then you just click on that with two fingers and you go down to set desktop picture and there it is it's a little bit of a different size than the other one but pretty much the same thing and then you can just delete that when you're done by dragging it into the trash and there you go that is how you create your own background you can okay moving on to the most exciting thing that i'm going to show you guys and that's how i get these little folders over here which i chose to be plants but you can choose them to be anything you want just super exciting so going back to canva the same website that we used for the desktop picture you're just going to create a new design um i've been using like the instagram post one just because it's like a perfect square but i don't think it matters which one you use so you're just going to go over and pick whichever element that you like personally i used that plant i thought it was super cute if you want to use like a heart or something you just search it up find whatever you like and then you're gonna make it bigger to like fit inside of the square but like as big as possible and you can also change the color of most of these elements so just going to one of my go-to colors here <laughs> just like this boring brown but i like it and now we're just going to download that again it downloads as a png automatically okay and then i'm gonna save this to my desktop just for easier access okay so now I wonder if I can make this bigger. Okay, so now we're gonna go to this little box over here that kind of looks like a toolbox. Okay, so you're gonna click on this little toolbox and then you're gonna go over to the left. There's something that looks like a magic stick. That's the best way I could describe it anyway. And then you're gonna just select the white background and then you're going to press the backspace or the delete button and it's gonna get rid of the background. So now we just wanna save this and then close the toolbox. So now while we have this open, we're going to like select the whole image like this, right? And then now that it's, you know, just draw like a box around the image and then you're going to press command C for copy. So now you have that copied and you're going to choose the folder that you want to change the icon on. Personally, I want to keep all of these. I want to keep all of these as they are. So I'm just going to create a new folder so just to show you guys. We'll name this folder example <laughs> okay so now you're going to click on the folder with two fingers until this little menu comes up and you're going to go to get info then when this comes up you're going to double click on the little folder icon that's on the top left up here not the big one down there this one up here and then you're going to do command v for paste which is just the shortcut button for paste and there you have it. Your folder is now the heart that you selected. And you could do this with any of the elements that are on there. It's super easy. And once you have it, you can just keep going to each folder and just copying and pasting it like I did on this one by opening the get info button. And then you have these really cute folders instead of the boring blue ones. So <laughs> that makes your desktop look a whole lot more fun. So already we have a nice background and all these cute little folders. Okay, the fourth thing I'm going to show you guys is how I customized my dock down here and made it like super tiny and magnify like that. So what you do is you go to system preferences as usual. <laughs> and then you just go to the option that says dock. And then here you can choose the size of your dock. You can make it huge, like you can see it changing here on the bottom. So you can make it big or you can make it super tiny. So I went with like the smallest option. And then here you just check on the magnification button. And then you can choose how big you want it to magnify. So you can do a super small magnification. As you can see on the bottom, it just zooms in a little bit. I like to keep mine a little bit more than halfway since they are so tiny. I like them to open up pretty big so I can tell what I'm clicking on. Or you can do it at the maximum. Personally, I just feel like that's kind of like obnoxious. <laughs> but whatever works best for you. You can also choose to hide your dock, but I like to see it there. I don't know why. 
And some other cool things you can do for your dock are change where you want it on the screen. So here you can see it says position on screen, and then you can just choose left, right, or bottom. So left would put your dock over here, which I haven't seen anybody do this before. I didn't even know this was an option. I kind of just found it from playing around with it, but that's pretty cool, I guess. I prefer to have it on the bottom, but if you want it over there, or maybe you have a picture that you don't want it blocking down here, then you can totally do that. So now for this sticky note that I have also on my desktop over here, it is from an app called Stickies, which looks like this. I'm pretty sure it comes with the laptop. I don't remember ever downloading it. Like I said, I've had this for like five years, so it's possible I downloaded it, but I also don't see it in the app store. So I think it comes with it. Um, and what you do is you just open that and it just stays open down here. And then you just go to file and then new note anytime you want to start a new post-it and it'll keep it on your desktop then you can go up here to color and choose what color you want it to be you could do blue pink whatever color i chose gray because i felt like it went best with my theme over here i guess you can say and you can also choose from this top left area what font you want and what size you want the text to be and then you can type whatever you want and it'll stay on your desktop so let's just say, hello YouTube, oops. Okay, so that's my new post-it and I'm gonna keep it here next to this one. And then you can also double tap on like this top line here to minimize it. And you probably can't see on the camera, but it still says super tiny, whatever the first line is. So if I wanted to have a bunch of them and just keep them all like closed until I wanted to open them, I could just stack them up like that and then open them when I wanna see what they have on them. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how you can edit basically like the time and date on your laptop. So you just go again to system preferences and then you're going to go to date and time. And then from here, there's a whole bunch of different options. All I did here was click on um, show the day of the week. So if you look up here, you can see that it says Wednesday. Um, you can take that off or you can add it on. I like to have the date of the week there. You can also add it to show the date. So now it says June 3rd. I don't like that there just because I feel like this section is so cluttered. So I like to declutter it as much as possible. <laughs> and then something else that I did, which is really kind of pointless, was added in the flash the time separators. So let me try and bring this closer. If you look between my time, which it is 6.28 p.m. right now, you can see that the little seconds thing is flashing. So yeah, that's just the flash the time separators option. You could just turn that on and off if you want it like that. And another thing you could do analog clock, which does declutter it. I think it's kind of cool looking too. It's just this little like, looks like a real clock, but that's a little too complicated for me when I'm actually trying to figure out the time. So I just like to leave it so that I could just read the time digital version way. Something else that I realized um, while just playing around with like the time and everything else up here is these three little dots or three dots and lines up here on the top right. And when you click that, you have this sidebar that opens up, which you can edit. I had some like weird stuff over here, like stocks and other stuff that I didn't really need to see. So for now, I just added in a calculator. And then I also realized that you can go to the app store from there if it loads. Okay, and then it just tells you these apps that you can download and they will come up over there. Most of them are paid apps, it looks like. Um, I don't really think I need any of these, so I'm not gonna buy any of them, but if you're interested, now you know that that's an option. And yeah, that concludes this video. So let me know down below if you wanna see any other videos that are similar to this, or if you have any other ideas for videos, or if you just have some other kind of comments, <laughs> let me know, I respond to all your comments all the time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, like I said before. And I'll see you next Thursday.